Hi, my name is Louisa, and I'm here to teach a circuit class, which is a combination of cardio, resistance training, and some ab work. So all we really need today is a set of dumbbells and a mat. So we're gonna start with a quick warm up. So let's just get a little slight jog going on here. Nice and easy. Okay, now we're gonna take it a little wider. Okay, just a warm up, so we're starting off nice and easy. Now we're gonna bring it tight again, and those feet closer together. And you can always keep it at low impact if you want, but if you're ready, take it up to a light jog. Just those toes tapping the floor. All right, now if you can, bring those feet a little higher. So you wanna keep that butt. You wanna bring those heels up to your butt. Keep going. Okay, from here, we're gonna bring those knees nice and high in front. Again, keep it low impact if you want. But bring those knees nice and high. Two more. Three, two, one. Now let's take the jacks. High impact or low? Just on those heels. Listen to your body. If you need a break, take that break. Three, two, one. Now we're going to power skate side to side. And I take to a high impact with a little jump. Four, three, two, and one. Nice. All right. Let's stretch out those muscles. So. Nice, gentle lunge. If you have knee issues, take that lunge to the back. And wake up those quads. Four, three, two, one. Now I take a deep breath and bring those hands towards the floor. Push your butt out, get into the hamstrings, just hang here. Slowly bring it up. Just a few squats. Push your butt back. water break so the warm-up is done now we're gonna go to our first cardio move because we get the heart rate up every circuit will have a cardio move an ab and some resistance work so one leg in behind one leg in front arms up do those abs as fast as you can bring that knee up pump 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 that toe just taps behind you keep going keep going keep going Pushing, 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 crunch those abs. Got lots of power, tight body. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Four, three, two, one. Turn yourself around, making sure the other leg is in back, arms up, and let's go. Pump it out again. Let's go, 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 come on. Push, push, push. A few more, a few more, a few more. Four, three, two, one. All right, nice job. Okay, so every exercise, you don't have to use weights if you don't want to. You have a set of dumbbells. This is what the first move looks like. 
Taking your right leg, shoot it behind your left. A little bit of a bend. Take that right leg to the side. Squat with the curl. We are staying on the same leg. So let's curtsy, bring it wide, squat with the curl. Let's go. At any point, if your arms get tired, just keep working those legs. Going with the curtsy and the squat. Keep going. Same side. Three. Two. One more. Finish, finish, finish. Okay, shake it out. Making sure you go the other leg now. Shoot that left leg and back. We're gonna change the arms now. As you squat, forward raise. Curtsy, squat, forward raise. Let's go. Remember, you can put the weights down at any point. Just keep working. Nice, push that butt back. Push it back. A few more. We got this, guys, come on. Three. All right, we're gonna lie down now. We're gonna do a chest fly. So notice my elbows are soft, okay? So you don't want stick straight arms. It's too much stress on the shoulders. So we're gonna lay down with your dumbbells on your heels, toes up. So, butt off the floor, arms straight up. As those arms over to the side, lower your butt, butt up. Weights together in front of you. Let's go. Keep going, keep going. Butt up and bring those weights together. When that butt comes up, squeeze tight. Keep going. Nice job, guys. Come on. Staying strong. We got this one. Three, two, and one. Now, keep that butt high, squeeze tight. Bring those dumbbells behind your head and forward. Again, soft elbows. Movement is from the shoulders. If your back is starting to get tight, you can always bring your butt to the floor, okay? If you're a little stronger though, keep it high. Breathe. Keep going, keep going. A few more. Four. One more. Nice, and release. Now, you're gonna come up. We're gonna go to some abs. You don't need to use a weight. If you're a little stronger, keep your weight here on your chest if you have uh, shoulder issues. If you don't have any shoulder issues, your weight can come behind your head. So this is what it looks like. You're gonna come up, tap the toes, lean back, tap the heels, lean back, tap the hips, all the way down. So let's go up, toes, Knees, hips, and back. Remember, if you got those shoulders issues, just keep that weight at your chest, okay? Let's go up, toes, knees, hips, and down. Always breathing, don't hold your breath. You don't have to use any weights to do this. Use all body weight. Keep going. Let's go, three more. Always leaning back, feeling those abs tightening up. Two more. And last one. Toes, knees, 
hips and down. Now, we're gonna work the oblique, those side abs. Feet up, cross your ankles. Arms out like a T. Those palms stay on the floor. Drop your knees to the left. You do not have to hit the floor. Come up and go to the right. Don't force it, don't overextend. Just to feel, until you feel those abs stretch. Nice and controlled, there's no speed here. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Nice. Control it, control it. Four. Three. Two. And one more. Nice. And release. Bring yourself up to your feet. Grab some water if you need it. So we do every circuit three times. So we're going to do round two. So we're going to do those power knees again. This time, if you want to try adding just one weight. Okay, so one leg behind. Arms up. All right, let's go. Push, 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 push. If you're trying it with the weight and then it gets to be too much, just put that weight down. Keep going, keep it going, keep it going. Push, push, push. Almost there, almost there. Three, two, one. Turning around, making sure the other leg is behind you. Arms up and let's go. We got this, come on. Pushing, 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 pushing. Three, two, one. Nice job, okay. Grabbing the other weight. Right from the beginning, guys. With that curtsy, squat, and curl. Are you ready? Okay, shoot that right leg behind. Then bring it to the side, and curl. Keep going. Keep going, keep going. Keeping that core engaged nice and tight. Oops, sorry. Keep going. Almost on this side. Three. Two. And one more. Okay, good. Shake it out. Making sure we lead with the other leg now. Shoot that left leg in back. Squat to the side. Forward raise. Staying strong. Nice, keeping the eyes forward. Pick a spot to focus on, it helps with balance. A few more, come on, we got this. Three, two, last one, last one. All right, we're gonna take it back down to the floor again with those chest flies and some glute work. So on the heels, toes up. All right, let's lay down. Okay, so arms up, hips up. Open up that chest, bring that butt down. Bring it all together. And down. Push, remember, you gotta squeeze those glutes when you come up. Keep going, keep going. If you do have any lower back issues, you can just keep that, those uh, hips on the floor and just work the chest. Three, two, last one. All right, now you can keep your lower back on the mat if you want, or bring those hips up, squeeze that butt tight. 
and move from the shoulders behind your head. Just reach behind your head. Squeeze that butt, protect your back. Remember to breathe. Three, two, and one more, we got this. Good, bring those weights down to your chest. Sit yourself up. Again, you don't have to use any weights if you don't want to. We're gonna do that little four count. So let's lay down. You can start with the weight at your chest or behind your head, come up, tap the toes, tap your knees, hips, and down. Up, toes, knees, hips, down. Reach, reach, reach. Few more of these. Three, two, and last one. And release. Put that weight down. Arms out like a T, palms on the floor. Bring those knees up. And let's drop it to one side slowly. Up and go to the other side. Don't force it to the floor. Keep going, we got this. One more time. Grab some water. We're gonna go to those power knees again. Don't have to use that weight if you don't want to. Let's do it one last time. Arms up and let's push. Come on, pop it out, bring it all together. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Push, 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 push. A few more, few more. Four, three, two, one. All right, take it to the other side. Other leg it back. One last time. Let's go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. A few more seconds. Come on, just a few more seconds. We got this. Four, three, two, and one. All right, pick it up both of your weights. Okay, one last time with those curtsy to the squat, adding the curl. So curtsy, take it wide, curl. Making sure when you squat, you push that butt back. Don't let those knees go ahead of those toes. Take your time, don't rush. A few more. Three, two, and last one. Okay, shake it out, making sure you leave with the other leg now. Ready? Curtsy, squat with the forward raise. We 
got this, guys. Come on, we're almost done with this exercise. That's four. Three. Two. And last one. Good. All right, we're going to take it back down to the floor with those chest flies. We have an official break coming up. All right. On your heels. Keep your back on the floor if you need to. Or if you want to challenge it up. Take those hips off the floor. Hands up above your chest. And let's open. Lower those glutes. Up and squeeze. And bring it down. Keep going. Bring it down. Almost there. Four. Three. Two. And last one. All right, keeping the hips up if you can. If not, you need, if you need a break, just bring those hips back down to the floor. So let's go behind your head, reach behind your head, and back. Behind your head, and back. Never holding your breath. Come on, we're not giving up. We're almost at the end of this first circuit. Keep pushing, keep pushing. It's four. Three. Two. And last one. And done, release. Again, you can drop both weights if you need to. Or hold on to one. Let's start with those abs. So let's lay down, come up. Reach for the toes, back to the knees to the hips and down. Keep going. Come on, we're staying strong. That water break is coming up. A little bit more. Last three. Two more. And give me one last one. One more, one more. And lay down, put the weight down. Arms like a T, palms flat on the floor, feet off the ground, and let's go. Take it to one side, up, and the other side. a little bit more, a little bit more. Four. Three. Two. And last one. Nice job, guys. And release. Okay, we made it to the first, at the end of the first circuit. Grab your water, catch your breath. Start a whole new circuit with some different exercises. All right, is everybody ready? So, first cardio move is a power jack. So you're gonna squat, bring your hands underneath your uh, legs and power it up. Squat, power it up again. You keep it low impact, okay, you ready? Let's go. Sit into it, explode up. Keep going. A few more, come on, a few more. Three, two, one. 
All right. We're going to take it to a lunge. I prefer to lunge backwards. As I said, it's easier on the knees. So we're going to take it to the right leg. As you lunge back with the right leg, you're going to twist to the left. Right? So that leg that's in front, you don't have to use the weight if you don't want to. We are going to stay on that same leg. Ready? Let's go. So turn your head as well. Keep that neck and spine in a straight line. So turn your head. Keep going. Focusing on bending that back knee. That knee in front will just follow. A few more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Shake it out, making sure you take it to the other leg. Ready, let's go. Step back, twist to the leg that's in front. Controlled. Drop the weight at any time. Four, three, two, and last one. All right, we're going to go to some upper body work. So, one leg behind the other. So if the weight is in the right hand, right leg is in the back, so it's out of your way. We're gonna go to a roll for the upper back and then kick back from the elbow, tightening up that tricep, bring it back forward and down. You ready? Up, kick back, squeeze, forward and down. Up, kick back, forward, down. Keep going. Squeeze, squeeze that tricep. Almost there. Three, two, and last one. Good, now transfer to the other hand. The weight is in your left hand, left leg and back. So get it out of your way so you have some working room. Hinging forward, drive it up, kick it back, squeeze forward and down. Up, kick back, forward and down. Keep going. Keep pushing guys, keep pushing. A little bit more, a little bit more, we got this. Remember to keep that shoulder locked in place so you don't want to drop it out, okay? Keep it locked in place. Three, two, and one more. Release. Okay, we're gonna go to some core work. So we're gonna go down into push up position. All right, so you're gonna bring that butt nice and flat. So you wanna squeeze your butt and tighten those abs like someone's gonna hit you, so it takes some of the weight off your hands. Now, beginners, just tap the opposite shoulder. So I'll just turn forward. So you just tap the opposite shoulder, right hand to left shoulder. Or if you're a little bit more advanced, right hand to left foot. You wanna come all the way back down, squeeze that butt, other side. Down and squeeze. You wanna take the stress off that back before you go to the next move. Or, just stay right here with the shoulder tap. If you want, you can even combine the two. Keeping that core tight. We got this, keep going, keep going, keep going. For four, three, two, and last one. All right, get onto your mat. Let's work those obliques. So you're gonna lay down, extend both feet. Take that top leg, 
planted behind the knee of that leg that's on the floor. Raise that leg off the floor, hand at your ears, crunch and open. Now, if you're a little stronger, you can take the hip right off the floor. You could try a little bit of both, okay? Let's go, crunch and open. Controlled movement, making sure you're opening and bringing it all together. A few more. Four, three, two, one. And release, take it to the other side. So extend the legs, top leg, plant it behind you. Other leg off the floor, hand at your ears, and let's go. Breathe it out. Three, two, one, and release. Nice job, guys. We're gonna start all over again. Two more rounds. All right. So remember, keep it low impact jack, or we're gonna do explosive jacks. Squat, shoot it up. You don't have to use a weight if you don't want to. So remember, you're gonna lunge back with the left leg, twist to the right, okay? Twist to the side of the leg that's in front. Let's go. sure you lead with the other leg in back and twist to the leg in front so you switch legs upper body, weight in right hand, right leg behind you, hinge forward, pull it up, kick it back, sorry, and down, up, back, forward, down, squeeze the tricep, keeping the abs engaged, nice and hard, helps support your body weight, Working, keep working. It's four, three, two, and last one. Okay, now put the weight into the opposite hand. Get that leg out of the way. Hinge forward, up, kick back, forward, down. Up, kick back, forward, down. Keep pushing. Come on, don't give up. It's 
the last four. Three. Two. And one more. And release. Put that weight down. Let's go to that core work. Just dry off. <laughs> Alright, so remember, squeeze those glutes. Take it to shoulder tap. Bring that right hand to the left shoulder or right hand to the left toe. All the way back down. And the other side. Let's go. Keep going. So down and squeeze. If you're staying with the shoulder taps, keep that core and those glutes engaged. Two. And one. And release on your side. Extend, stack those feet. Take that top foot, plant it behind you. Lay it up, hand it your ears. Now you can stay with the hip on the floor or bring it off and let's crunch. <laughs> Keep going. Almost there. Three, two, one, release. Now, if you take that hip off the floor and you just can't hold it up any longer, it's okay, just bring it down. Okay, plant that foot behind you. Up and let's go. Don't hold your breath. Four, three, two, one, and release. Okay, we're gonna go through the circuit just one more time. One more time. Keep it to low impact, or let's go to explosive jacks. Let's go. Keep going. Three, two, one. Great. Grab one weight. All right. So let's lunge back and twist to the leg that's in front. Remember to face the way that you're turning. there come on four three two one shake it out making sure you lead with the opposite leg now step back and rotate Nice job, keep going. Almost at the end of this one, come on. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's go to the upper body work. Come upper back and tricep. So, right hand, right leg and back, hinge forward. Up, kick it back and squeeze, forward and down. Keep going. Come on guys, we're almost, we're getting, we're getting there, we're getting there, that finish line is so close. Three, two, last 
last one. And good. Take it to the other side. Ready? Let's hinge forward. Bring it back. Kick back. Up and down. Let's go. So remember, you're keeping that arm tight to the body. Don't let the elbow flare out. Keep going. Few more. It's four. Three. Two. And this is the last one. Great. Okay, release that weight. Last set of abs, and then we'll go into some stretching. So bring it down. Squeeze those glutes, tighten the abs. You can do it, stay with the shoulder taps, or you go to toe taps. Always coming back down, other side. Let's go. Keep that body nice and flat like a plank. Four. Three. Two. One. Great. Release on your side. So, top leg, plant it behind you. Foot off the floor, hip off the floor if you can, and crunch it out. Almost there. Two, one, other side. Ready? Let's do it. Can we get it closer? Three, two, one, and release. Great. Okay, we made it right to the end. We're going to go to our stretching. Since we're on the floor, We'll do a quad stretch on the floor. So take that upper leg, bring it behind you towards your butt, grab your ankle, push your hips forward, and squeeze those glutes. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Breathe through those stretches. Three, two, one release, taking it to the other side. So bring that foot behind you, pull, squeeze the glutes, push hips forward and hold. Stretch out the back, onto all fours, pulling the belly button into your back, round out into a cat. Really open up those shoulder blades. And now we're gonna reverse it, drop the tummy, head and hips come up. So now you want to take those, those hips and push them back towards your heels. Then the head fall between your elbows. Three, two, one. Now you want to come up onto your hands. 
Try to push yourself back onto your heels. Now, try to keep your hands on the floor. If they can't stay on the floor, that's fine. You're gonna slowly come up, dropping the heels. Slowly, slowly come up, keeping your hands down. And then walk your hands behind your toes. Try to bring your feet hip width apart. Push all the way back into the heels. So you feel those hamstrings stretching. One, slowly bringing yourself up. Taking your right arm, grabbing it by the elbow. Pull it into your chest and then push it upwards. A little bit more. And release. Grabbing the other arm, pulling it in and pushing it up. So we've come to the end of the class. I hope you enjoyed it. So remember, this is a YouTube video. You can pause it when you need a break. Listen to your body. You want to challenge yourself, but you don't want to get hurt. And release. Take one last deep breath in. Exhale. Give yourself a hand. And thank you for joining me. See you next time.